Hello everyone. Today, I would like to use a couple videos talk about how we can use the TI Portal Siemens i7 1200 or 1500 controller and use Perfinite to connect with the Keyens X sensor, the laser sensor system. And as you know, the Keyens X laser sensor is a brand new product. Uh, as I know, it's just uh, released maybe the recent one year and they haven't got uh, so many materials and uh, demo program in their website or in the YouTube. Recently, I got uh, one project and in this project, it used X laser sensor to check the frame bracket, to check the height. And in this system, that is a Siemens uh, i7 controller. And this controller used a Perfinite to connect with the IX laser sensor. And I did this project uh, basically used one week. And totally the working days, that is uh, five days. So basically I used one day to offline program, read the material. And second day I got a laser sensor, the actual product and use one demo PLC in my hand, that is the i7-1200 controller, and use this controller as a test system, connect with uh, this RX laser sensor, and do a test, because that time I used this uh, demo system or test system to verify, to validate the functionalities of my function block. That function block play the role to trigger and got the results from this RX sensor. And third days, I based on the the actual project, uh, based on the application background, and programmed all the other logics. And the last two days, I went on site and test everything. So so far, the system has been run a couple weeks, and the results shows very good. And the whole laser sensor system already took um, thousands pictures, a thousand parts already. So that means the core function block and the whole structure of the program should be okay. So when I record all this learning curve, at the beginning of the program, it did have some glitches inside the program. And when I went to the onside, I found some problem and solved that, makes the program more robust and more reliable. So I would like to share this learning curve. Um, and also because of this, uh, so during this couple of videos, you will see uh, some projects, maybe the name, maybe the setting would be a little bit different. Uh, that won't be a big trouble because the reason why I did this, because uh, when I did the project and when I do an off online test, so I took the video, uh, use my working laptop. Uh, I took the video for online actual sensor connection and online monitoring something. And these days, I come down and uh, use the offline program to redo this everything, to do a summary. So uh, so you can imagine that uh, when, I, when I'm going to do the offline program, there will be some setting or name, a little bit of tiny things will be a little bit different with the online. That time I was uh, working on site but which is fine, all the key information, all the key setting, they are the same. In case I found some difference between my current offline and the online that time I record, so I will show the difference and I will explain why that time I tested the system as that way or why currently I program in the offline program as this way. So let's start. So in this video, I will show how to use this TI portal and the i7-1200 controller and use a Perfinite to connect with this IX laser system. Firstly, let's quickly review the IX laser sensor information and what the structure of this system. Firstly, if we go to the keyins.com and search IX, so it will pop up the X image laser sensor information. So we could go to the image based laser sensor, the main web page. 
And if you are the new learner, so you could download the data sheet and the catalog to get the knowledge of this uh, X-series laser sensor. And after you read this, so because in this video, I will show how to use a PLC to connect this uh, laser sensor. So uh, to better understand this system, how it works, uh, we'd better download the software and the manual of this system. To configure X-series uh, laser sensor, we need to go to the software page and download. There is one software name that is uh, X series X navigator software. However, as I explained from one previous video, so this X navigator, uh, you only software you can download that is one update software from their website. So to download one base software, you need to contact your local key sales representative to ask them to transfer you a link or a DVD. That DVD has a X Navigator base software. After you install that, so you need to install this update software. Uh, other than this software, uh, there are some couple menus I highly recommend. Uh, before you do everything, you'd better read or at least uh, scan this uh, software. The first menu that is the X Series Users menu, PC software. This menu explains how to use the X Navigator to configure this uh, X Laser Sensor system. And another menu is very useful that is the X Series Starting Guide PC software. Uh, so you could read this starting guide first and then read this uh, user menu after because this is uh, just a uh, 40 or 50 pages menu allows you to quickly understand how this system works because this RX laser sensor this basic idea is to uh, use the, the laser to measure the distance uh, of your part of your object so it's quite a straightforward so it won't be a quick trouble to use and configure this sensor itself but communication portion it does have uh, some difficulties so the communication portion, it does have a little bit of difficult, and that's why I reviewed all I did uh, for this project and explained something in this video. So this is a sensors portion. Uh, there are two very useful menu here. And if we open this menu, so this is a IX series starting guide PC software. It's briefly explain how we can use this IX Navigator software to configure the IX laser sensor. And the second menu, and the second menu that is IX series user manuals, it has a 374 page, so you can imagine uh, how details of this uh, menu can provide. And if we go to the page 48, so if we go to the page 48, this picture explains what the typical IX laser sensor system structure. So if we only need one laser sensor in your system, you need an IX1000 amplifier that is a run as a master unit. And this master unit connect a laser sensor here. And to configure this laser sensor system, you connect one Ethernet port and connect the Ethernet cable to a switch and use your laptop to uh, connect this switch uh, and do a configuration to this uh, laser sensor amplifier. And in this laser sensor system, it also have uh, this structure. For example, in my case, laser sensor system need to check uh, the part left and right simultaneously. So uh, in this system, well, we need uh, one main unit plus one expansion unit. So this whole system can provide two laser sensor. So this two laser sensor can be allocated one on the left, one on the right. However, in this system, it doesn't explain how we can connect to a PLC system. That's because in the laser sensor series system, to communicate with the PLC system, this IX series need one additional module. 
And this additional module is called the DLPN1. So if you are the first time to learn this system, and if there is no one to explain to you, honestly, it's really hard to get the information for this module. Uh, even in their catalog, it doesn't explain uh, so for profinite communication. So in this system, we need a DLPN1. We need this module to allow this X system to communicate with the profinite uh, controller. So the typical structure of the system uh, it looks like this. So this is the master unit. It connects with one laser sensor. And this is an expansion unit. It connects with uh, the other laser sensor. And this module, DLPN1, this module connects to the right side of the master unit. And this port, that is a profinite port, real-time communication. This port connects with a PLC. And this port maybe some friends will ask, oh, was this port useful? So this port will be used for you use the laptop and use the IX navigator to config this laser sensor itself. So here we must very clear that this port on the DLP1 that's used for PLC communication. This port is just for the laser sensor configuration. So therefore, if we go back to the X laser series, uh, we cannot find any information about that PN profinite module information. That because that module is one additional module. Because that module can serve for other series, it's just like a profinite interface. It's not belongs to this X series. So uh, to search this module information, we need to go to the search window and search DL PN1 and once you search that it pop up DL PN1 and from here you need to you could download the catalog and download the menu of this module So from here, we can go to the menu and the software. Firstly, if you have a background of the PLC knowledge, you know, allows the PLC to communicate with this uh, profinite device. In the TIA portal platform, you do need to download one GSD file and import this GSD file and drag this uh, DL profinite module as a one remote device. So download this GSD file first. And other than this, we shift to menu catalog. And this menu are very useful, DLPN1 users menu. So when you download this menu, this menu is that we just download. So here, I would like to share some experience uh, when I did the test uh, for this system. This menu just uh, has uh, 58 pages, but honestly, almost every page explains uh, very important information. But when I tested this system, as you know, I only, for this project, I only has uh, five working days. So the first day when I did the offline program, I just use the, I only have a very short time to review this menu. And after that, I realized I missed something and I did uh, got some troubles on the communication. But fortunately, I reviewed this menu and uh, I reviewed this menu a couple times. And the, the more time I reviewed this menu and the more knowledge and the more experience I got. So I uh, highly recommend before you do the project, you read the detail of this menu. It's not a long menu, it's just 58 pages. However, every page provides very important information. Especially it shows like this. Money kinds of notes with a bold text here. And a quick explanation for that is for the profinite communication, because this module is not belongs to one part of the X series. So 
you can imagine. So this module just play the role on the communication, and you also need to understand something that between the module to their main unit X main unit device. Also, you need to understand how your PLC communicate with this Profinet interface module. So that means you need to figure out two system communication that communication between the X series to this module and the communication between your PLC to this module and how to exchange the information between those three guys. So if we use one sentence to explain the, what the important on this communication test, I would like to explain this wheel and this screen provide very important information here. You could write the detail. And during our configuration, I will explain the, why it's very important. If you could give me a second sentence to explain another very important information in this menu, that is uh, data I.O. communication. And if we scroll down, so this Profinite controller list provide very important information, especially from this slot one, uh, from this slot one, two, three, four. Uh, this big list explain a very, very important information. So I will explain them during our test. So currently we download the X series menu and one getting start how to use the uh, X navigator. Also we download this menu, Profinite module DLPN1 menu. And also we need to download the GSD file to prepare for our TI portal configuration. So this is the first video for the preparation uh, for the PLC Profinet communication with this X series laser sensor system. So see you in next video, we will start to configure the PLC communication with this X series in TI portal platform. See you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.